Oh, yeah. Karen versus Miko. Let's get it. Back to the. Back to don't get grabbed. Yeah. Back to don't get grabbed. Although I feel like Karen has uh, a lot of good tools in this matchup because standing medium is just. Or standing uh, strong. Or not strong. Oh god, what's medium one? kick? I always forget medium kick. That's the only one I forget. Standing medium kick is ridiculous. has some ridiculous range on it. It's like Ryu standing medium. It's just so good. Yeah. You just look at it in awe. Yep, and now Drenzon's playing a super slow game as compared to earlier, because... Because he has to. Yeah. Because he's trying not to get overwhelmed by this Miko. Ooh, catches him. Hits those EX not quite Rekkas. I don't think he's going to be able to read for the microphone again. Not yeah. For a little oh, God, that back pressure. Done. Jesus, Drenzon. Calm down, man. You ain't got to hurt this man that bad. Jesus, Drenzon. He's just a Mika player. You don't need it that bad. He needs it that bad. You don't understand. He needs it that bad. No, he does not. He's going to get that top two. Drenzon is coming for this top two. Ooh. Drenzon. Drenzon, please. Oh, he gets Peach Bomber for not playing a little too aggressive. Top is kind of just calling him out. Back to the corner combo. Ooh. Ooh. EX. Yeah, the EX didn't cover yeah, the himself. EX That's so out. smart. And he just EXs out and he keeps applying this pressure. That's one thing is that Drenzon just started laying on the pressure. And he got him. He's punishing him for oh, just real being quick so aggressive. Game one. He gets that one I nice win. hit and just beats yeah. the mess out of this man. I think that's the other thing is that Karen has a lot easier con time confirming off of like random little hits compared to Ken. In this matchup, especially in this matchup where that's going to be what, it's, what it is more than anything. Fight. So 1 0, Drenzen. He's just like, no, you're not going to get these easy yeah. confirms. Not again. No, he's just holding him in the corner. That's one of the other things is that uh, Tapascon hasn't really been able to maintain corner much against any against anyone since Winner's Finals, which is always just kind of an issue. Because that's where Mika wants to hold you, because that's where her best combos are. And these guys are just unafraid. They're just throwing out hitboxes right back at him. And they're, they're just, just blowing him up. really aggressive. And it's yeah. Great. It's just super aggressive play. And Drenzon takes another round. Drenzon running through Tapascana right now. This is not looking good. Tapascana is going to have to reevaluate and figure out how he's going to win this one. He's just going to have to back up a little bit. That's no, he... I think he's got to go in a. I think he's. I think he's got to go in a little harder. The problem is, is that he's doing most of the blocking in this matchup, and I don't think that's good. Because with like, because with a combination of her sweep and standing medium, kick, she can cover so much. And there's the super, and that's down. It's not yet. The scaling is gonna keep him alive, yeah. But it's close. Oh, and to get Nadeshko, he's holding the button. There Ooh, it is. oh! It is down. He caught the counter, and then it pushed it, and then it crossed him up. That was win. solid. He just stepped it up. Slow stuff from Tapuscana. Tapuscana is slowly figuring this one out. Yeah. And he's got one more game to really make something of it. Let's see the reverse 3 0 Tapuscana. Ooh. And I like how he finally is using that standing roundhouse because it's safe on block if you charge it. What? I think he's talking about double. Oh, okay. And then. Oh, okay. okay. I'm already signed up. I'm good. Anyway. Oh, and there we go. There's the round that was kind of needed. Homeboy's that turning was, it around. That was really, really he good. He just turned it stuff. around. Yeah, he just turned it around. That's what he needed. Like, this is the this is the turning point for Tapuscano right now if he can keep this up. Which is going to be hard against the Karen because Drenzon's just going in. You see that? Drenzon just walked up on him. Drenzon just walked up on this man. He's just like, nah, you're not going to... You're going to go back to this corner. Yeah. You want me there? Ooh. No. And then just put him in the corner. Tapuscana's got to make it work. Tapuscana. Oh! And now Drenzon's going in. Drenzon. And that's it. Oh, okay. 
I thought that was a confirm. It wasn't. It was just like a safe way to like V trigger on block. You know. Yeah. He's holding the button down. Ooh, goes for the double drop kick, and then Drenzon just safely just jabs him. Just calmly jabs him out of it. Didn't need style points this time. Just jabs him out of that shenanigans. He's like, stop that. Ooh, and he just he just responds. That's what other things Drenzon's been doing really well is anytime uh, Tapascana is getting these like straight hits in, Drenzon is responding in kind. Normally with something that like puts him in uh, like puts either resets the position to more neutral mm. or just makes him a little better off. It leaves him a little better off. Tapascana is just no, he's, he's respecting him right now. No, he's doing a lot of things right. He's just getting caught up on a bunch of little things. Like there is that super. Oh, and he jumped out. Yeah, and yeah, I, I thought Drenzon pressed a button instead of Tapascana. And that's going to be a quick 3-0 from Drenzon. That's going to be Drenzon versus Fireball Paul. Coming back.